Hi, welcome to the tutorial of uh, Compton. So it doesn't really matter what distro you're on. Compton is a way to display your windows with shadows, transparency, fading in, fading out. And I want to share your the settings and the knowledge I've, I've gathered in the meantime. And Linux Mint 18.1 Mate is the one I'm doing it on. I've made myself uh, a new panel, so added an extra panel. And then I have made this uh, mint menu that's on here. Made mint menu, some icons, and then the notifications. Okay, so that's it basically. So um, let's open now our system. Um, meaning, there are a few programs that you need to keep in mind. One is the Compis Config, which is just for the Compis uh, Manager. This is for Windows and the May Tweak. So three things to uh, keep in mind when working with, sh with shadows and, and, and shading and all that. So let's open May Tweak as a start. We have um, interfaces. I hope I will not forget it. Uh, we have here a custom Eric Tweak, but there are two in there. And um, we're going to show you as well that panels can be transparent too. So these menus here can be transparent as well, but not this one so this is linux mint the mate menu the mate menu seems to me that it cannot be transparent at all anyhow how we're really gonna talk about these guys the window managers so we have a lot of choice in our system so thank you linux mint but um how does it how do they work how can i tweak them how can i set them the way i want them that's what this tutorial is about and let's go and add some stuff with us with uh, on the little screen here. We have this and then we take a terminal, not yet present up there, open in terminal. Let's do this as well. Everything small because they're just for to show what happens. Like so. We have a conky active to see. Well, it's not it's ugly. Let's say how it is, it's ugly. It, we need to be, it needs to be transparent. So what does a compositor or a Compton GPU compositor and all these things, what do they do? Let's go over them. So this is Arco No Compositor. When we take the Marco Software Compositor, you see a small shadow here. One, the conkey is transparent and our terminal should be transparent as well. So let's help him like so okay so that works as well this is not transparent nothing changed but the very beautiful shadow our menu is still the same okay this is Marco software compositor I do need to go now inside the folder dot config and then scroll down we do not need this so no well, let's not make you doubt or anything. So this is the one that's working in a bit, in a bit. So this is Marco Software Compositor. And the next one I'm gonna choose is gonna be Mark Compton GPU Compositor. So now this file will be used and I have colored it red. So I know it's this file that's being used. So that's my way to figure it out. I've underst I understand now how it works and why. where did I do that? Here you can just put a hashtag again and then the red is gone. So this is the content.conf working now and we can tweak it. What happened? Well, maybe you see it already. This is transparent. This is focused. And when this is focused, this is a little bit darker. When this is focused, this gets darker and transparent. The menu does not change here. It might be a good thing now to show you that the menu can change if you go to another interface. If you take Fedora and you go over here, then the menu is indeed transparent. Depends. If you look very closely, it really is transparent. Same with GNOME 2. 
he understands that too it's transparent so these guys understand it and not this one okay fine so next up meta city no compositor if you choose this one this is gonna be black 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 everything is now not transparent and then to the software compositor which is you don't have to do anything to have those what we'll get is a menu that's filled out transparent conky transparent terminal and a shadow around the window that's open great but if you would like to have again your own personal metacitycontent.conf you can have it put it in the .conf and there we go i've made this one green just to show is it working is it taking this configuration file yes it is so this is now transparent when i focus on something the rest goes black and i can really focus and when i move it here it's bright again and a big shadow big green shadow so i see this is the line that's working here nothing happens nothing transparent but again if i would take fedora everything is transparent as well so that works okay back to the windows last one and not least one and maybe also a bit of danger meaning that it may break your system compass is fun and because of these little things when you uh, maximize it it makes all these kinds of wobbly things which is quite nice minimalize and then like well it's gone now so it's a good exercise to make a new panel um pop up where do we make a new panel new panel like so like i said i close the program and now you do add to panel um somewhere down there there's this window list add and here are all the windows that i have opened that were gone this is the mate week like so okay so um basically guys this is it you get from me two files and they'll be on the github is it open nope it's not so they'll be on github of eric dubois dot pe that's the website where i am but my own github is of course on github not on eric.dubois.be here is my github and the last one i've pushed is this one ultimate linux mint 18.1 mate these two config files are in my personal folder in the settings in compton and they are still red and green so get rid of the hashtag in indeed put the hashtag in front and then it's still it's uh, becoming a black uh, shadow so have fun with mates this is how we do it uh, share the knowledge that's my idea and have fun